Circular economy. The climate is changing. So must construction. Nature of the problem. The construction sector is based on standards of productivity that have not evolved over the past 25 years. Linear and outdated production and demolition processes cause a ratio of output to inputs worse than most industries. This inefficiency, coupled with huge resource requirements, make construction one of the most damaging human activities out there. Let's analyze the currently implemented Take, Make, Waste economic model. Take. A constant demand for new buildings translates into an ever-growing annual extraction of non-renewable natural resources, requiring massive use of energy and causing greenhouse gas emissions on top of other environmental damages, like deforestation, desertification, acidification and eutrophication, depletion of the stratospheric ozone layer, air and water pollution. Make. The making and use of a building also takes a heavy toll on the earth in terms of land use and energy consumption. Furthermore, modern buildings have an average lifespan of 100 years, and yet they are still being constructed without sustainability principles in mind. This means they will be a lifelong source of pollution, extremely difficult and lengthy to rectify. Waste there is no adequate management of construction and demolition waste or recycled materials. Often valuable resources like steel, aluminum, stone, concrete, brick, ceramic, and wood are not properly identified, separated, and valued. Problem quantification. The construction industry is responsible for the emission of massive amounts of CO2 hence heavily contributing to one of the central environmental problems of our time, climate change. Between 35 and 40 percent of the national energy in the U.S. and Europe is used annually to excavate the earth, transport raw materials and equipment, create structural steel shapes, pump cement, and perform all the other activities required to complete a building. On top of the energy consumed during construction, we cannot ignore the ongoing CO2 emissions that derive from the installation of outdated and inefficient heating, ventilation, lighting, and cooling systems. Besides the need to choose more sustainable structural materials and designs, construction also must improve its management processes, as studies attest between 10 and 15 percent of resources used getting wasted due to inefficient operations. A final critical area for improvement is the generation of untreated waste. Construction and demolition account for 25 to 30 percent of EU waste. Circular practices tackling the linear paradigm. Design. Advanced technologies are entering the industry, helping engineers plan according to principles of long-lasting, easy maintenance, repair, reuse, remanufacturing, refurbishing, and recycling. Radical real estate developers are coming up with eco-village concepts capable of producing renewable energy, self-managing water, and waste systems. Town planners are also gradually adopting more flexible systemic urban planning instruments and innovative governance, enabling the development of regenerative cities where buildings continue to burn fossil fuels, but at a rate that can be reabsorbed through biosequestration in soils and forests, sourcing, garbology, and an increasing quest for recovering discarded resources has led to a variety of cheap, durable, and green building materials seen in construction today. Rammed earth tires are used to build solid and thick walls. About 480,000 tons of recyclable shredded rubber become available every year. Newspaper wood is created by rolling up paper and solvent-free glue into something not dissimilar to a log. Over one million tons of paper and cardboard are recycled every year in Northern Europe alone. Recycling facilities, specifically designed for diapers and napkins, can separate organic waste from superabsorbent polymers, the basis for fiber-based materials like roofing tiles. Resi blocks are bricks made from old plastic bags and can be used as dividing walls inside a house or an office. 
Mycelium, a bacteria found in rotting organisms like tree trunks and agricultural byproducts, can be a great alternative for wall insulation. If placed in a mold, these organic matters rapidly grow to the desired shape until halted through heat exposure. Business and Policy Advice Recommendations to Business Various professions are generally involved in a construction project and each category can, in its own way, support a transition towards circularity. Through retrofitting and creative thinking, architects, designers, and engineers can conceive buildings to maximize resource use and energy efficiency. Contractors, together with material and equipment suppliers, can opt for waste-free construction resources and technologies, as well as develop practices of reuse. Recommendations to Government Regenerative cities with never-ending production cycles and remanufacturing processes will be at the heart of a true circular economy. Within this vision, the construction sector can play a leading role, but groundbreaking legislations must pass to guide the transformation by encouraging the correct handling of hazardous materials as part of an adequate management of construction and demolition waste. Promoting a life cycle view of buildings that accounts for design, construction, operations, demolition, and waste treatment. Supporting high quality retrofit programs and stimulate creativity to increase the economic value of reused materials.